Hi guys, uh, in the previous video we did some simple filtering techniques in queries, in access queries. Now in this, uh, um, in this uh, video we're going to expand our knowledge on filters in queries. And let's start with a simple query. For instance, let me search for all people who are CEO. So the way I do it, go about it is like I go to, to my design view and I've got here my fields and in position I just type in CEO. Okay, got that. And I go back to my data view and I see all the CEOs I got in uh, this table. Right, now let's, let's remove that again. Let's try another filter. Let me take that off. And let's try and see uh, how can we filter people in sales. Now here I got a slight problem. With CEO, very simple. I just had to type in CEO and then all the CEOs come. But what, I, what, what do I do about sales? Because here I've got somebody with VP sales, then somebody else has got head of sales, another person has got sales administration, another guy has got administration sales. How do I filter after people in sales? Well, here I cannot just simply uh, type in sales because I haven't got anybody in here whose position is purely sales, S-A-L-E-S. Now here we have to use something called the wild card. And in Access there are two uh, wild cards, the star and the question mark. Now the star is basically a wild card for uh, X characters. So basically if I search for somebody, I don't know where the word sales turns up. It could turn up at the end like here. It could turn up at the end like here as well. It could turn up at the beginning or it could be something in the middle. I don't know. Okay, so basically the way I go about it is like this. I go into my design and here I, I, all I know is sales. Okay, now what's in front and what's behind sales, I don't know. So I use my wild card. So in front of sales, I just put in the star and behind sales, I, I again put in the star. Okay, and let's see. And that's how, the, once you click off, it writes like star sales star. So that means all I know is sales is in there somewhere. What's in front, what's, it, what's behind the word, I don't know. I'm leaving it open. Okay, so and if I go now, I get all guys in sales. See, that's, that's the effect of the wild card, of that star wild card. It is basically, um, yeah, um, uh, sort, of a, sort of a wild card for X characters. Okay, let me just remove that. Let's try something else. Let's say I want to have, I want to see all LLC companies. Here I know LLC is at the at the back at the at, at the end of the at the right end of the of the word. So basically, I just go to company and just type in uh, star and then LLC. Okay, and I basically I can also make it better because star empty space LLC. This way I don't get companies whose name ends in LLC, you see, because the, the, the LLC ending to each company always has a space in front of it. So basically star LLC, and if I click off, I can see it's, it says like, and before we go to data view, let's see how SQL writes that. And you can see here you have the, the filter where, and then like, it uses the word like, and then it puts in the star LLC. Okay, let's see the data, and you see here all LLCs. Okay, great. Let's remove that. Let's try out the second wildcard in X is the question mark. Now the question mark is a, a wildcard for just one character. For instance, let me uh, see, let me say I am looking for people who's for the browns and the bronze. See, now how do I look for these? See, what have they got in common? They got like the BR in front, in common and the WN at the back. So what I do, if I look for browns and brawns, what I do is basically B or, under surname obviously, and then uh, question mark, and then WN. So basically all I know is BR at the front, WN at the back, in the middle, I don't know, I might get brawn, an A, I might get brown, an O, or any other uh, character, okay? And let's see. And there we have it. Okay, so I got the browns and the bronze. Or I can do like this. 
let's say I'm looking for people whose name starts with B and it's five characters long. So basically the B is the first character and there are other remaining four characters. I just put in four question marks and this way I get names which start or surnames basically which start with B and are five characters long. Let's see if we've got any. Yes, sir, we have. Okay. And if I'm looking for names with four characters, just four characters long, regardless of what, what they start with, I just put in four question marks. Okay. I just and here you have to pay attention and uh, this is a bug that has been in access since version 2 and basically with question marks if you just type in four question marks like that it reports uh, reports an error what you gotta do is basically just um, uh, type in like and then four question marks and then it works okay and then if we go over there oh wait sorry I meant um, uh, if you put these question marks in quotation marks then it works okay there you go this is a this this bug has been in access since version 2 if you type in just purely quotation mark, uh, question marks like that it, it reports a bug what you gotta do you've got to place uh, the question marks within uh, double quotes at the, uh, and however if you have like B and question marks no problem it works but if you just pure question marks let's say four characters like that and you got up you, you will have a problem so that's why what you do you contain your question marks within uh, double quotes and your problem is solved there you go and these are all names regardless what uh, regardless uh, uh, what they start with then these are all the names with uh, which are four characters long okay and this is this is sort of the way you query um, uh, access uh, you, you, you query access data uh, with wildcards you have the star and the question mark the star is a wildcard for x characters it doesn't matter how many whereas the question mark is a character for just one uh, for just uh, one character and a very useful technique to filter data when you're not really sure uh, how it is exactly written in there for instance uh, certain names uh, oh i don't know was he brown brawn whatever so we just put in br and then star or you know uh, same thing with the sales i need all people in sales there's no way you can use a normal filter let me just remove that there's no way <clears throat> you can use a normal filter to look up these people in sales same thing with marketing i need all uh, marketing people how do I look for these well again here you'd have to use some wild characters there's no way you can uh, search for that uh, using a simple filter like marketing because no one has got marketing in there okay so you can let's try that last one again marketing again I don't know where marketing is so basically store more kitting and store have I right uh, marketing and star and now i've got all possible uh i misspelled it i knew i misspelled it so let me throw it again store more kitting and store and now i have all the people in marketing director vp vp marketing see so that's that's the uh, benefit of wildcards in in access